remove the oil filter, use a 27 millimeter socket. And slowly take this out. You might want to rag underneath. If you go nice and slow, probably going to drip a little bit of oil. Slide the cap and filter off. And before we put the new filter on, we're going to drain the oil. With a drain bucket underneath, you want to use a hex bit. You want to use an eight millimeter. Take the drain plug out. And drain the oil. On the drain plug, you want to take the gasket off. Put a new gasket on there. And reinstall it. And we want to torque the drain plug to 22 foot pounds. Just take a rag and just wipe any of the excess. Now take the old filter out of the cap. Take this seal. You can use a pick if you need to, but if you just squeeze it together, it normally works. Take that off, put the new seal on. You want, might want to take a little bit of oil if, um, if you don't have any residual right here and just rub it on the seal, that's good. Take the new filter, line it up and lock it in place. Now slide it in position, get it started. And start tightening this down. And now I'm going to torque this to 18 foot-pounds. Now I'm going to remove the oil cap, install the funnel using 5W30 synthetic motor oil. I'm going to put four and a half quarts in it total. It's always a good idea to put four quarts in first and then check it and then adjust accordingly. And that was four quarts. And I'll take the funnel out. Let's just use a rag so I don't drip. Put the cap back on. Now I'm going to start the engine for about 15 seconds, let it run, then shut it down, let it sit for about 30 seconds, and then check the oil level. Now we'll check the level, pull the dipstick out, wipe it off. Reinsert the dipstick, wait about five seconds. So it's right about there. So we want it in between those two dots, preferably towards the higher end of it. So we're gonna add a little, a little less than half a quart. So about four tenths of a quart. Now that we've added the extra oil, you wanna double check and make sure it's still in between the lines and it hasn't gone over and we should be good to go.